Hey Legionnaires, welcome back. We're here with another NTW3 historical battle and this is the Battle of Jamaps fought in 1792. We are very much at the very beginning of the Revolutionary Wars as France is taking on the Holy Roman Empire as it battles for Austrian Netherlands. As it was at this point, Austria did own most of the Netherlands at this point and France saw this as an opportunity to expand the revolution and set up a satellite state, a revolutionary Dutch state as loyal to France. And this battle here, the Battle of Jemaps, is part of that Flanders campaign uh, that saw uh, the French eventually establish that sort of, uh, uh, that uh, republic, I will call it. And this actually was a historically a French victory as well. The French led by Charles Dumouritz, uh, had between 40 and 45,000 men uh, over 100 guns and they were taking on a very small force of the HRE of about 13,000 and they had about half the amount of guns that the, uh, the French did. Um, but the, uh, the French did have a really tough obstacle up against them. Though they may not have had the numbers, they did not have the terrain. You can see here the hill at the... Uh, HRE start on is a pretty big one. It's a long one as well. You see the guns going off as the uh, as the cavalry and the uh, generals start to appear for the HRE here. It certainly is going to be an exciting one, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see whether history will be recreated. Will the French be able to absolutely smash through the HRE once again? Or will the HRE change history? And will they be able to defeat the French on this hill here today? Let's find out. If you're a fan of NTW3 and want to see more historical battles, some farmhouse has been taken. Congrats, Frenchies. Uh, if, yeah, if you want to see more NTW3, more historical battles, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment show support. It really does help out the channel as we work towards 10k subs. And if you want to get involved in any of these sort of scenarios in the future, if you want to be uh, a commander in one of these great French armies, then feel free to uh, join my Discord. The link is down below in the description. We do plenty of NTW3. Uh, streams usually like one a week and uh, yeah they're really really good fun and yeah i'm looking forward to seeing how this one goes down i actually was taking part in this one this was actually part of a stream um was this battle i was playing as the french army all the way over here i was playing as this french italia uh italia 1799 i have another another one over here this is rhine though instead and then who do we have here we have another rhineish army and then another italian army over here I think we have Sush, uh, no, we have uh, Sand um, Tire, or however you say it. I definitely butchered the name. Someone told me how to say it. I've already forgotten. Uh, we have Sushé here as well. Uh, who else do we have? We have. Oh, is this another Sand Kaye? I think we have his twin brother, and then we have probably another general somewhere. There he is. Another Sushé. Okay, fair enough. So we've got twins of both, apparently, in today's battle. How exciting. Um, but yes, we got lots of uh, troops and cavalry starting to form up around this building over here. This is kind of the plan was to kind of go up this road and then along the uh, along the hill and try and work our way along instead of making like a direct assault up it. Try and sort of like flank our way around. Uh, on the other flank over here, they've already sort of started to duel a little bit. They've got some skirmishes here that are setting up. And truly, there's actually that cavalry here getting pounded, it looks like, by a howitzer. That's pretty nasty. Yeah, here we go. The uh, the uh, Frenchy boy is coming forward, and yeah, the HRE starts up here on this hill. They are in a nice position here. The HRE that's disappearing. I think his line of sight is uh, kind of iffy at the moment with the French. They're having a look up a hill. What a sight it is for the uh, for the HRE here. Their guns they can just like pound poor French as they get a. Uh, Try to get in position and get ready for this assault. It seems like they're going to mass around the village as well and sort of make their assault up this hill. Certainly is going to be a tough one, that's for sure. The HRE uh, are kind of strung out along this hill, so that is an advantage for the French uh, with going up this hill, is that at least they can just, like, if they want to, like I'm doing on my side, I'm trying to just, like, mass up in one spot and then just punch my way through at the thin line. And it seems like that's going to be the same on the right hand side here. The center. Uh, lots of sort of skirmishes being formed up here. They haven't actually got lots in the way of infantry, um, at least not for 1799 France, which is the earliest France that we can use. I know I said this battle took place in 1792, but the uniforms and the units and stuff like that hadn't really changed um, 
between those two periods. Still very much in a revolutionary phase. And look, are the uh, the French in 1799. But yeah, it should certainly be an interesting one. I think this is technically my earliest bat like historical battle I've covered. We're not really in the well, we're not in Napoleonics. We're in Revolutionary War. Napoleon was about. He was doing uh, he was doing things. I think he was wasn't quite at the siege of Toulon yet, um, but he would have been very soon. So yeah, at this point, it would have been. I'm trying to remember, I've been reading a lot about it, but he would have been um, serving down, uh, serving in the French army. Certainly by this point, as an artillery officer, he did a lot of dodging of uh, duties early on. I, I've been reading, like he kept uh, taking leave. And he didn't want to go and command certain places. Oh, Jesus, this poor French unit here already getting pounded. Already lost 10 men there from that uh, artillery volley. They're actually hitting the uh, guns up here as well. I don't know if that was artillery. Uh, by the looks of it, I would have said so, looking at that gun carriage taken out. Uh, so that's unfortunate for the, uh, for the HRE there. But the Frenchies need those sorts of things. They're going to need a few wins like that. French emerging from the forest here as well. They've got cavalry just behind as well. We've got uh, lots of dragoons. They're all starting to appear here, and we've got Cavalry Battalier, which is still hidden. But yeah, they, it looks like the French are going to make a huge assault up this hill. And then, yeah, this is going to be their, their grand plan. Just get right in the face of the French. Maybe do a bayonet charge once they're ready. Back with the Cavalry. Fire! For the revolution! Viva la revolution! HRE uh, can't stand a revolution, threatens their own monarchy. Basically the reason why that everyone went to war with the French, along with uh, obviously they would like to see the Bourbons back in place. Um, but yeah, a revolution, a revolutionary state next to them is also, uh, well it encourages their population to rise up. But anyway, less of that, we're going to see a charge here from the cavalry. Looks like Dragoon's going in, don't know if it was really the most orchestrated charge I've ever seen. Don't think they really were actually aiming for it. And the cab now charging at the back of their own infantry. That always is a big morale debuff for your own troops. So I, I don't know if that was really a smart oh, idea from the uh, from the cavalry there. That actually uh, doesn't really matter though. The French infantry the charge got a volley in the face and they got routed. Looks like we're going to see a French cab charge up the hill. Though dragoons here just charging straight into the face of the enemy here, trying to cause all sorts of problems. And looks like they uh, they should just about them. French are starting to stutter though already. We're seeing a few infantrymen break here and there. The cavalry's getting stuck as well as it tries to run through its own infantry. It's meaning they're not getting effective charges. The men of the peak and we've got listen. more hatred cap coming down here. Looks like some Chevalier or something like that. Some of the uh, Dragoons starting to break, as have those cavalry battalion there. They've been beaten back. Looks like by, I don't know, like a Dragoon or something like that. A Dragoon or a Cuirassier or something uh, of, that, of that ilk. And look at that, the HRE have actually managed to repulse the French at that first assault there. So the hill uh, defense does hold, and it looks like the HRE are actually going to chase down some of the French units here with their cavalry. Yeah, side retreats. Probably for the best. Probably for the best. You don't want to overcommit. I wonder if this is a uh, cuirassi unit of some sort. I don't know. I know they don't have cuirasses on, but they kind of look that style. Um, that's for sure. HRE bringing forward some grenadiers here. They'll be good for an melee fight, which inevitably will be coming. They could be Grenadier. Actually, they might be Dragoons. They just might seem to just be Dragoons, I think. But yeah, HRE actually are pushing down the hill. A little bit. Just a little bit. Which will probably make them a bit easy to pick off with artillery. Uh, it's certainly a, a possibility. Uh, in the center here, looks like the uh, Great Skirmish line is doing ready. Look at that. I wonder if that's really do it's doing a little bit of damage, just chipping away at the HRE troops. I mean it's a slow way to do it. And he's got no skirmishes to duel back. I mean he could possibly get closer and use these um uh, try and take out these guns, make his assault a little bit easier. He's got a uh, dragoon just behind, I guess, just to protect his uh skirmish line in case any cab dares to make that assault. And now it looks like on the left flank over here. French rules are getting ready, just coming for a, a bit of a push.
Here we go. The French are starting to arrive. Cavalry getting hit hard, actually. Already losing 10 men. That's a big loss there, to be fair, actually. So we are back. Unfortunately, the replay did crash, but I think we're basically back at where we left off. The left flank is getting very much underway. It's getting uh, starting to their assault over here. And it looks like, yeah, the, the French are just about to move up. They've got Grenadiers to the line here. We've got the Legion Lombard here. I like that. They, they probably should have these guys, really, to be honest. Um, since, uh, well, Italy hadn't even been, like, conquered and the Republic set up at this point. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll move past that. We've got Grenadiers to the line here. They're coming forward. We've got the Grenadiers of the Consular Guard. Also, another unit probably shouldn't have. Um, the Consular Guard hadn't been set up either. You know what, who cares? We want to see the glorious consular guard in action. Who doesn't want to see that, that boys? The predecessors to the old guard basically look the same as well. They look very, very cool. Look at them. Badass. They are going to be going in very shortly. It's going to be exciting to see how they do. There's some more line infantry behind as well here. Set up, ready to go in. The assault is getting ready. I'm looking forward to it, that's for sure. Looks like you can see the HRE also starting to uh, mass more people on the side here. I love how the HRE, like all their uniforms, are just so like different in color. Like, you've got so many different colors here going on. We've got one, like some in white, some in green, some in blue, some in like black uniforms, some in brown uniforms. Crazy. Very multicolored army. French moving up, taking casualties as they come, getting ready for a, an all out assault, really. And here we go, I think the charge is beginning. In goes the French. I don't really want to charge your own units. I don't know how bad that will do, but I mean, I feel like that unit there just got shot in the back by its own team. I don't know. But it is, it's a counter charge in here. French going back in, setting in a second unit now to try and do the same job. Got a line infantry coming in here, trying to just charge into the flank. Now the Dragoons are setting up on the flank here as well. Here we go. Uh, the assault is very much in the way. Same over in the center as well as another assault is made here. Line infantry and sappers here trying to break through. So far being repulsed from up this hill. Cavalry has not made his, like a move yet either. It's not gone for a... And a dash up this hill, the cavalry battalion. It's all the skirms here as well, sort of chipping away, trying to do their bit. Now we have H3 Cav over here trying to join in the fight. The H3 line is buckling a little bit, but it, they've also managed to break off uh, some of this, uh, this infantry here. You can see the cavalry is actually retreating. You've got Curassias here charging in. These are definitely Curassias. They have the cure. So the Lombard Legion being stopped in their tracks. I don't know if the uh, constant guards form square or not. But they definitely could. The Grenadiers, the line down here as well. And look at this. The soldiers need to try and go up the hill. I mean, I shouldn't have really made an assault over on this side. It's just such a waste of resources. Um, because, well, we couldn't really do anything. But there you go. General's dead. That's huge. Someone's lost the general. I presume it's like a uh, combat jet or something like that, but he has been broken. I think he's a melee here, so that's going to help the French uh, the French assault here on the center. But yeah, look at this. My assault on the left just failed. It just miserably failed. Constant guard are broken. The Curassius just overpowered me in the end. I need to get my Dragoons out of here, really. They're getting chased out. I did, don't know why I had to move them. They need to get a move on, just get out of them. They're gonna make a, a rapid retreat. 
Touche here is in a little bit of trouble. He probably needs to get back as well and uh, get back inside the city here. We've got Chasseur Cheval coming across. Yeah, they're not going to be able to stop the uh, Curassius here. And yeah, I mean, I did some damage to the HRE line. I nearly broke through by like the first line, but there's so many more lines of infantry to come. So, so much. The issue. Back on the other side, though, they have. Uh, you can see again the French also been repulsed here. Not looking good here at all. Uh, the French are still very much alive here. They're actually making a bit of an uh, assault on the right here. We've got sappers and uh, cavalry here working together in unison, trying to break through. Goons might just about do it. Sappers look like they might have be about to take the hill as well, like this corner anyway. With the cavalry supporting, they can definitely hammer an anvil. There's also a uh, general here, the grenadier unit. That would be uh, potential to go after. You know what we have here? Oh, we have grenadiers with the consular guard here as well. They are smashing their way through the infantry, which is good to see. And looks like we're about to see a cavalry charge as well into the flank of the uh, infantry here. They're trying to do their best. They are getting hit by. You need to be careful with the stakes. I think they might lose those guys to squares and stakes. There you go, Chasseur Chabal, they broke. It looks like that's going to be uh, what they need just to send in the Grenadiers to the line here. Look at this. These guys now getting the, uh, the order to go in. And they will uh, probably beat that unit pretty easily there. We've got more Grenadiers to the line moving up here in column. They're going to try and go through this gap here and then maybe get in behind, hit the sides. And maybe this flank here can uh, save the day, I don't know. Uh, the French are starting to re-rally as well on this side here. Some troops are re-rallying here, you can see the town square preparing for another assault this hill. We've just got to buy time and hope that our allies in this, in the, uh, on the right-hand side can do some work. We've got Carrie Battalier, they're dueling down here. It looks like, it looks like, looks like a Dragoon, I think it's a Dragoon here. like uh, Trillier is being routed Why these uh, Dragoons came down the hill. I think the Cavalry Battalion A is going to win. It's winning slightly. Morale would say otherwise though. And there you go. The Cavalry Battalion broke again. Wow. I'm surprised. I am surprised. Another General dead though. Uh, so yeah, that, I think that was yeah the Grenadier unit over here. He succumbed to being stabbed up by the Dragoons here. And this uh, HRE army here is in full flight. And is kind of running for its life now, yeah. Friend is the line, leading the way, stabbing their way through. And now they can move down uh, onto this uh, artillery position here. And onto these few units here. There's also more cavalry shifting across. It looks like some uh, stars here. They're getting ready to come and stop the, the tidal wave of French cav and infantry. They're going to need a bit more than that, though. I mean, these HRE troops... I want to start thinking about shifting across. Or, I mean, look at these guys. Red and white. I don't know what uh, where they are from in the world. But yeah, all sorts of different colors there. Dark blue. I know some of these are like from French-speaking uh, like, territories. The h tree has. Very multicolored, though, is this army. Very multicolored. Yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the French... Chasing in column, chasing after these vast formations that the uh, the HRE have set up here. It looks like looks like they might they might catch them. I don't know. These guys probably are a lot tired, more tired than the French. The French are fresh. Yeah, HRE probably have been in a fight. They've already already, and they're having to now run away. It's not going to look good for the guard. Uh, Constant guard here set up. They're just going to. Go straight on column into this uh, cavalry by the looks of it almost. No, they're not. They're going to form squares. They should. And then the yeah, cavalry's going to uh, be charged here. So, yeah, they actually, the HRE just got a better charge off there for sure. And I think this is where the uh, French cav gets beaten. To be honest, these uh, Dragoons here are losing. Morale would also not look oh, good man, for them. And there you go. Yep, Dragoons breaking and those cavalry battalion breaking. The constant guard. Holds on. I think they broke square, though. They nearly broke the cab, though, so nearly a win in itself. 
and there was more infantry on the way anyway to back it up. But yeah, big loss really losing that cav. So I don't think France has much left of any now. You see the French moving steadily up this hill, coming around. The French centre is just all but gone at this point. They made an all uh, like an assault uh, on the H3 troops that came down the uh, down the hill, and they've just yeah they've got nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. The French left also still looking pretty stagnant as well. They're moving up. Another assault is being prepared. It's futile really going into these uh, grenadiers here. They are, well, vastly better than the infantry that uh, the French has here. The Green is trying to do their bit. Here come the cuirasses once again though to stop any sort of cab flanking going on. And again, look at that. The volleys of the HRE just breaking these French instantly. It's brutal. Actually, it's brutal. I mean, the Chasseurs maybe should have led the way just trying to tie down these units and get the infantry into melee. But yeah, it's, it's, it's rough. Put it like that. And it's now very much a... Uh, well, it's over on this left-hand flank here. They've had made two assaults, failed them both. I don't think they're breaking through great if I just broke this uh, Curacia, but I don't even think I'm doing that. And there you go. I think that's the French left basically dealt with. We'll go back to the other side here where the action is still very spicy. You can see that the uh, HRE are still having their issues. Still being broken in various places here by the French. French bayonet charge just keep on coming. They ain't stopping. The line fights certainly are not good for the French. We're now seeing a counter charge from the uh, HRE descending in their cavalry here. Trying to break these uh, units that can't form square. It's probably a smart idea. Another building taken. which I think it's that one all the way over there on the left flank being taken. There you go, the HRE managed to do their bit. They managed to uh, send back those French infantry. The French keep coming in other areas. I don't know what the Grenadier State's like for the French. They were the big pushers earlier. I don't know if they're still alive. They are just about. There's three units of them here. It's good to see. I think the Consular Guard might still be alive. The... We've got the Swiss here, their red uniforms. I actually don't know if the concert. Oh, it is. It's down to 44 men. We've seen healthier days. And their general has died. I think that's, uh, that's the middle uh, French army over here. Their general's dead. Being chased down by a dragoon here, I think. Yeah, the, uh, Chaz who was playing in the middle here had a really rough day. Uh, it wasn't the... It w just, yeah. He had a rough time. For various different reasons. Just like that. But we got... Looks like Grenadiers coming forward here. They're going to do another brave charge in here. And they go with their big bearskin hats. Again, the Grenadiers go down the line. It's literally like 28 of them up against hundreds. Probably have no chance of winning this. Got more French infantry on the way. On the way, though, to come back up the Grenadiers. When they break, they get replaced with more infantry. That's what we like to see. Just look at this. There's columns of infantry just on their way. So many more HRE troops ready to go to the fight. And the French keep going in with the bayonet charges, but they're just not as good as they used to be now. The men are a bit more tired, a bit depleted. Still got a lot of troops over here to the French. The 
Cav now gets in here. This is the problem. The Cav's still alive and available for the HRE. And they're going to be able to go after all sorts of generals here. Suchet, there's uh, San Kaye, all available if they want to go after them. Or they can just rear charge French units down here as well. That also helps. And then, yeah, I think he's now going after a general. That will be detrimental and I think that, that is kind of the battle really the HRE are going to probably go on to win this one I think but the general has died there another cav unit coming in here as well going after another general Looks brave for SARS charging in killing that general very nice yeah I think the French is going to make an all-out assault here they know it's over Yeah, the HRE holds strong. The French just seeing all their comrades breaking is, yeah, doing a lot of damage to morale. It's not good. It's not good. And there you go, I think. Yeah, there's not much left, really. I think the French have a couple of units dotted about. There's still some of my units over here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what, what I have really left. Just a couple <laughs> of units here. Ready to assemble, maybe, for one last hurrah. There's an artillery piece over here of mine that's just been chipping away. There's 12 pounders here. I mean, they, I left them back here because they can shoot so far, but I honestly feel like I should have brought them up a little bit further. Um, I did also have a, another artillery piece, but that got sniped out ages ago. It was so unfortunate. I don't know where it is. Um, yeah, I think it was here. Yeah, the gun crew. Just like I was absolutely sniped. So unfortunate. I was like going to bring it up and just like point it, like put it point blank range to help support my... Uh, my army basically but yeah unfortunately got sniped out and uh yeah that is the that was the last hope here on this right flank but the french are fully routed they kind of milking kills now all these uh these hre players with their calves you know a bit dishonorable you know hard to believe what they actually got for kills um but yeah we'll uh, just fast forward now and we'll see what uh what or how long it takes them to like get these guns it could take them a little while a long way away with these guns but yes, if you enjoyed this battle, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. As always, guys, it's very much appreciated, and it really does help out the channel Our as we work towards 10k sir. subs. And uh, yeah, I just, yeah, I hope you did enjoy this one. It's certainly a short one. We've had some absolute mammoths before in the past when it comes to historical battles, but this one was certainly felt a lot shorter. Um, short and sweet, well, at least for the HRE, not so much the French. It's probably a bitter taste there uh, for the Frenchies. Uh, these last two units here, the 15th E and the uh, and the 10th E, defending their General Suchet. I think, yeah, it looks like we're going to see an infantry and it be sent all the way over to get those 12 pounds. Jeez, that is still a long the way for them to go. Are, must rest a while. But yes, I think uh, we're just waiting now on, well, just some units to come and clear up these uh, these last few Frenchies. But the HRE units here are not looking very healthy themselves. The Grenadiers, yeah, Red Morale. I mean, they've seen a lot of action, to be fair. Also, the Goss, uh, the Curassi is still alive. These were the bane of my life. I really wanted to just see them off the battlefield. Uh, because they just stopped my assault in its tracks, really. I mean, like, the bodies. The bodies down here is insane. Uh, there's a lot of dead French, that's for sure. Not so many dead HRE troops, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, here we go. In they go to the uh, Curassias. They're going to route that unit there. Our boys have tried to form square. Put some volleys into these damn cuirassiers. Get rid of them. I really should dismount my general. Um, but instead, he's going to go for a charge. He's fresh. Should be running. There you go. Get in there, boys. They're on orange morale. You might route them. You never know. That actually be hilarious if that happened. I think, yeah, he's going to get a volley off here. I think they all missed their shots, actually. They're too shape. Wow. I didn't manage to route a unit. Hilarious. They form square though, these grenadiers. That actually might stop us. And there you go. The general's broken, and I think this unit should pr break pretty much immediately then. And then we're just waiting on. The they took out the guns as well, thankfully. And then there's just someone else that over here as well. Looks like a uh, gun crew as well. They just need to take out. We'll just fast forward again. And we'll just wait for the inevitable to take place. Uh, looks like Curassia's. Oh, please break them. Please break them. 
charge my square, which to be fair is not a bad idea. I have probably very little morale left at this point, so it's worth a go. Um, instead, it looks like it's going to be the good old fashioned uh, just shoot a square. It's probably the best idea. We're kind of checkmated right now. Like they got us point blank range with their uh, rifles or muskets, I should say, and then they have cav just looming in the background, ready to swoop in. And it looks like it's going to be another a Dragoon unit going in. It's going to actually deal the hammer blow. But there you go. That is the Battle of Jamaps. It does seem as though history is going to be changed here. The French are going to be defeated. And that might put a spanner in the works for their designs of making the uh, Dutch a sister republic. But yeah, let's, uh, I hopefully I'll put up the end results for you guys to have a look at. Um, so yeah, I was playing this one. Didn't do that great. Wasn't one of my finest battles. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining the buffoon. It's actually from his perspective as the replay though. So yeah, thank you for sending it in, man. It's very much appreciated. And yeah, we'll have a quick look at the uh, unit stats. I don't actually some of my grenade my grenadiers at the guard console got 136 kills, which I think is like a sixth of my kills or something like that. It's insane. Um, oh no, these aren't. Sorry, these are Johnny's, aren't they? If Johnny's perspective is his kills. Sorry, that would be like a sixth of my uh, kills though if that was my guards at the console. Um, but yeah, Johnny's did pretty well. 136, 107. Uh, 103 with his dragoons. Yeah, he did okay, to be fair. Like, is it? Like, he got some decent kills with some of his units. Um, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show support. And I'll see you folks in the next one. Bye for now.